Hey guys, Flavien here with ATL's JDM, another another newest purchase. Uh, this is a custom order, sorry about the wind. Uh, it's a Toyota Soarer, so if you want to pronounce it uh, the Japanese way, it's a Soara. Soara. Uh, from 1990... 1992. It's written on the key, so. Uh, so, this one is in pretty nice condition, uh, mileage is very reasonable from what I remember. We will look at that quickly. Uh, yeah, it's a memory of a goldfish when it comes to mileage, I drive like way too many cars, so up. We are at, yes, 101,000 kilometers, so that's just like, just like 63,000 miles, something like that, so, so very low mileage for, for a Grand Tour like that. Uh, but let's go a little bit over, so yeah, specificity of this one, it is a 1J car, you can look at it right now. Open 1J car, and if you want to compare with uh, where this engine was used, it is basically the same one that was in the Supra. Uh, the Mark III Supra, the Japan-only version of the Mark III Supra, with the, it's called the R something. It is the R, R. it has R in it. Uh, it finishes with R, but I forgot which one it is exactly. Uh, but the penultimate, basically, Mark III Supra is the one that's like filled with the best engine. This is the best engine. Uh, so this one, like as I said, like very low mileage and the condition does show. You can see like there's no accident history also it is just yeah just overall very nice and very good looking no leak or anything like that we, we didn't have much to do at it on to it um, when it comes to maintenance uh, just topping all the fluids uh, just like you know a change and basic little things like that but nothing it did not require anything special like you can see we just like flushed the coolant and oh yeah my bad sorry this one we just did the timing belt also this, this timing belt was literally just done like 10 kilometers ago so all the belts here brand new uh, accessory belts of course were changed with the timing belt you can see that the I think it's is it the water pump that's in there or just the tensioner no the water pump is right there so you can see like a brand new one Up and brand new tensioner, brand new, brand new everything that needs to be replaced basically. Uh, yeah, so like cosmetic wise, cosmetically wise, there's not much that I'm gonna be going over with this car. Uh, you can see it's been brushed like slightly on the bottom of the bumper there, but I mean, the car is in just very good looking condition. Uh, it didn't hit anywhere. It didn't like just nothing. Nothing bad happened to it. <laughs> uh, it just, just very nice looking. Very very nice looking car. Up. You can see one JZ GT 2.5 liter engine. Uh, and yeah, there's not much else to say. The color is, if you want to check, 051 in the Toyota uh, color grading name system thing. Uh, tires are a bit old, but uh, this size of tires usually they are changed in the States, so we have not touched them. They will be changed by ATL JDM when they get there. Uh, we only we mainly just change like all the smaller, uh, smaller tires that are very hard to find, like K truck, K vans, uh, K cars in general. But full size cars, like usually, it's better to have some uh, DOT approved tires on them. Uh, interior now, so the coolest thing with this car, I really think it's the coolest thing, it's the door mechanism. So you can see it doesn't open very wide, it doesn't go like very far like that, but the doors are very long, they try to minimize how much you had to open them. Uh, if you compare with some other cars, like, like two-door Skyline, for example, you have to open the door, it just takes like freaking so much space. So they try to minimize the angle of the door will open, and look at this, up. This is the system that they found, that they used for that. So we're really into the 
<laughs> the Toyota over engineering, over engineering uh, thing with um, with design and everything. And that door system, door mechanism, is I think the coolest one. Definitely, definitely the coolest one. Here you can see that the light needs to be fixed. Adjusted. Make sure it doesn't come out anymore. Uh, the steering wheel is in good condition, which is normal for the mileage. Leather of the handbrake, same. A little bit dirty. The whole car could use like a detailing. Uh, that would that would definitely make it look much nicer uh, and look look better. So main defect you will see it did crack here. That is unfortunately fairly typical with lower mileage cars. They tend to not be driven at all. And here in Japan, when they're parked outside, not driven. Uh, interiors cook like literally like absolute cooking uh, because it's so damn hot uh, in summer in Japan and yeah that's what we are we are dealing with uh, most likely with this one hasn't been driven for quite some time and uh, yeah some of the interior has cracked some of the leather or fake leather rather that's on the on the parts everywhere but this the soft softness you saw another thing that also happened is that the, the foam that's in this uh, tends to go bad uh, but this is not the case with this one it still feels nice and soft and it doesn't want to go into pieces you will notice also the same with the toyota over engineering thing uh, you have the um, normal uh blow fan like a you know cooling fan for for the driver right there but you will see that there is little hole just there it goes inside the door comes out there so that's basically to defrost this portion of the window so that you can use your mirror and same thing on the other side that's very very cool another little detail that like you you get when you have those cars most most like um, visor are like this and visor are like this nothing special you just unplug it swap it around up but what happened when the sun goes in between <laughs> it is very 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 cool uh, i generally like this thing all the time it's it is really awesome up magnetized mirror it's not like a normal clip or like plastic thing. No, no it is up, magnetized. Same thing here. Up. Now, what else do we have? That's pretty much it. Really. There's not much else to go over with, like little defects like this right there. There is a cigarette burn on the seat here, but there's no cigarette smell in the car. So that's a good thing. Uh, we can take a look at back seats that have like probably never been used in very very good condition no issues there Hop. let's open the trunk how can we open it the key it is heavy and it does not hold in place Okay, so that will be something that will need fixing because it is a heavy, heavy trunk. I know that if my wife were to have this car, she would be complaining a lot about little things like that. Up, spare wheels right there, probably original to the car, never been used. Up, this is heavy. Some things that will need fixing. Uh, what else do we have? That's about it, really. There is not much else that I can go. Original wheels, which is fairly rare on those cars. And uh, and that's about it. All right, let's go for a little test drive now. Test drive. All right, let's get out of. Super Autobex parking lot and back on the road. 
car does feel pretty damn good suspensions may be a little bit old and some slightly some newer ones would probably make it like really perfect but it's not it's not bad really it is not bad at all it feels smooth comfortable most of all we will see just in a bit it is pretty damn quick <laughs> for a car from 1992 like actually pretty quick on a dime really made for cruising around the city highway that's practical area it's not too big not small doors are really cool <laughs> the opening mechanism of the door is pretty cool at first you're really surprised at how like you know it doesn't open much like what were they thinking like the angle is like really low but uh, the actual you have plenty of space to to come out. What is happening here? Why are they all queuing to get out of the parking lot at the same time? Hmm. But yeah, temperature dead in the center, which is like fairly normal really for. Uh, yeah, I'll go this way. Make a turn there. Yeah, so you do mistake. the locking button for the window I've done it like every single time <laughs> it is generally impressive boat it is heavy it's not like really sporty in any way and brake was still a little bit on too and yeah it just goes and brake working yeah and brake is not very not very good it needs to be tightened up a little bit Yeah, no, everything feels like it just feels like sturdy and good. Just like it's been like it clearly hasn't been driven for a while. You can see with the so that's the ETC machine, the thing that's on the dash right there. It's basically for highway. Uh, if you're going to be taking the highway, it will show like the tolls, uh, the cost of like everything, and you will be able to see like uh, how much you're paying for. Uh, highway and stuff like that. Uh, check. It just shows like it's in price in yen right there. 
uh, and you can see it's like completely burned by the sun completely completely burned by the sun that was 60 miles per hour no I impressive really very 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 impressive Uh, is the radio working? So it does have, unfortunately, some newer kind of... Ooh. So fancy! So I think that's the red over there, so... I'm gonna be going a bit slower. Right now it's not a radar, but it's uh, they are basically just checking for the scanning plates and stuff like that, just right there over us. That's a radar. I do suspect those to not be working. They're just way too old. And size like any small movement will basically make it go turn left and right <laughs> that's generally quick it doesn't have that like huge torque or anything like that it's just like just moves like it just rives really quick and just like gets you to speed without really noticing it's not like a big v8 where you have like the that massive torque that hits you like suddenly it just like feels like i don't know like smoother less violent very impressed would I want one for myself? Uh, I don't know, I'm not too sure really. Yes, but, there's a but. Uh, it's just not luxurious enough to my taste. Uh, I would want something more like, with like, uh, like interior that feels a bit better, not just plasticky buttons, old buttons that probably are shared like, uh, everywhere among all the cars, like... <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, very, very impressive. Like, I'm just impressed that how it accelerates because it is very quick but it doesn't feel like you're, you're stuck to the it doesn't feel like you're stuck to your seat you know it's not like a... it's nothing crazy but it just goes just goes over and over again and it will do it like all day long. Yeah, definitely very impressive. Alright, anyway, that's about it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let Pars or Rick know, or just like comment on the video. Do anything, you'll find ways to, to reach them. And uh, till next time, bye bye.